I'm Chris Malone. And I'm Mark Hagen. And this is Chris and Mark's Road Tested Reviews. On this episode of Road Test Reviews, we're going to talk to you about Morley pedals. Maybe. Oh, there they are. It was, yeah. Hang on, where's mine? I don't yeah, feel so left out. I started using these guys about 2014. I'd previously had a on-off toxic relationship with Watt pedals over the years because I'd had I'd only really been exposed to the Crybabies, which I just never really got. I I would hear Steve Vai using the Crybaby and doing all this awesome stuff with him, like, I want to sound like that. And then I got a Crybaby and I was just like, eh, that doesn't sound anything like Steve Vai. And so I just kind of was, was not a big fan for many years. Um, and then I had gotten a bad horsey years ago and I'd use that for a while, but then I'd, I'd switch to a Boss GT6 or and then the GT8, which had its own internal wah pedal, which um, at that point, it really didn't make, seem to make any sense to have like an extra wah on top of that, so I was kind of just using the internal wah on that, which, unbeknownst to me in my own brain, I used the uh, custom wah, which I had tweaked to sound like my previous favorite wah I've ever heard in my life, which was the Andy Webb chrome wah, the big chrome, the big chrome bastard that Dave Reed now has. But I'd heard that, and I remember thinking, this is the best wah sound I've ever heard. So I was, I was kind of mentally tweaking it with that. And then once my uh, GT8 finally met its sticky demise, I had gotten another crybaby, because I was using the 5150 then, and I was just like, yuck. And, and tell you what, if you want to go in testaments of like how well things hold up, that chrome wah has been around since what? It's a 70s. It's like a yeah. 70s wah. It's and that thing's still going strong. Yeah. Oh. In Dave's loathsome pedal board. Yeah. That's his main wah, is that chrome wah that he's had. Well, he bought it from Andy in like the 90s, and that thing would have been... Oh, I remember Andy putting that thing through. Post. Yeah, and Andy used that in his board forever. I mean, so that thing is just a monstrosity, but in a good way. But I had started, uh, I uh, contacted Morley because I wanted to get back on board with with the uh, the Morley stuff because I really liked the switchless element because I always hated that thing where you have oh, to yeah, step down. That's what I didn't like about my crybaby. Yeah, I had to stomp it down, you know, and stomp it off again. Like we're, these things here, put a little pressure on them, they go. Well, you're on. You step on. You're on. You step off. You're off. Like you don't have to think about. Because I have screwed up so many times live back when I had to have a wah where I'm like, you know, clicking it and then I think I'm on and then I'm like, Ooh, and I blow a note because I'm like, I realize I've stepped away from the board and the stupid thing is still on and it sounds like Wah! And so when I got a chance to get with the switchless was, I was giddy as a schoolgirl and I tried out, um, I think of the waza of theirs I've used, uh, first one I got was a Tremonti because I'm a huge uh, Tremonti Alter Bridge uh, fan and I got that one and it was it was a good wah, but it was just a little bit too much. And then with the boost, it was just kind. I I like more of an understated wah. And then I traded that to our bass player at the time, Greg Martin, who then went on after I'd done probably what 25, 50, 100 shows with that. Yeah. Then he, I traded it to him, and then he did like an entire year and a half, two years with that wah after I gave it to him. But the one that I got that was my my baby was the Mini Maverick Switchless Wah, which to my ear, up until I've used the, which now the Lead Wah, the 2020 Lead Wah is on my board as my favorite. This was my favorite for years. This was the one that, that got caught in uh, two inches of rain, and uh, wherever the hell that was at, was that Hawkeye or somewhere down by oh, Hawkeye? Yeah. And this thing got just, we, we got the, didn't get the tarp up in time, and this thing was just, just and soaked. And like we've said before, we're in the Midwest, so we've got elements ranging from frigid temperatures to, well, today, what is it? It's supposed to be 100. 100 some heat index that we're going to be playing in. Yep. So I'll show later today that's it's 
coming along. Hey, if, like, I don't know if you can Let's see if I can get a picture in here. You can try. Yeah. Look at how just filthy that is. <laughs> like, and I've never had one even glitch on this thing. This thing's never let me down. Because how long have you been using that one? It's got to be three years. A little more than that, I think. Is it? Yeah. Going on, yeah. About four, probably. Yeah, three, four years. Three, yeah. four years. And, and I, uh, this is the bad, Steve Vai bad horsey. The original. The original, yeah. It's quite large. And I, I, I spoken to Morley, and they said they're sending me the new 2020 model, which I cannot wait to get and play with. Because um, the, the 2020 one has got this, plus you can do... You can contour. You right can you? design where the walk cue is, and... Uh, Apparently, a lot of dudes love that one. That's yeah. I'm I'm super excited and to get that from them. So, well, I mean, the what we what we really like about the Morley stuff is well, I mean, you know, back to the crybaby thing. I mean, literally half of my channel is me just shitting on the Dunlop crybaby, and that's fine because I'm just you know that's just my opinion. I'm not a fan. I don't like how they sound. I don't like their sweeps. They have apparently made several that are like more of a signature wah or a customizable wah where you can kind of access you know, more of a diverse array of tones, but the stock crybaby with the on-off switch that sucks and always wears out, I just don't like. So that being said... Well, that, that was my thing. My What I didn't like about the crybabies was you have to push so hard to get the things on. Yeah. Like, you got to stomp on yeah, that Yeah, and then you don't... And, and then getting them off, too, is the where, other thing. Where I have this set in my pedal board, it's kind of up on the top because I don't use it as much as I, you know, use other things, so I just kind of have it off to the side, and then I can step on it. So if I if I had to have my uh, my old crybaby there, I would stomp on that thing just to get and like push my pedal board right off the stage. So yeah, I this, this the switchless thing is just plus like these things are solid metal, like you can drop it. I wouldn't recommend it, but you no. can. I mean, you can. You can, and they take it. I mean, they, they take a beating. They're just an overall solid, solid pedal. Like if you're you're looking for a wah, I mean, we. I think we both recommend these. I I won't play anything else at this point in my life. Yeah. There there's only two things that I, that I won't play without at this point in my life. One is a Morley, and the other one is a Demarzio clip lock strap. All right, so to wrap up, I'm going to give this one a solid thumbs up in every yeah, conceivable way that you can rate something. They're road durable. They sound great. They're stupid proof. Um, drunk people can fall on them, and yeah. you're fine, which we've had. We've We're, had. We've been the drunk people. We've been the drunk people. We've also been the... Uh, no, we've been the drunk people. Yeah, never mind. So anyway, drunk people can fall on them. They're fine. Uh, and they sound great, and especially and with the, the new batch of stuff with the buffer, um, I do notice a bit of a difference when I use the 2020 stuff versus when I use my trusty uh, Maverick, um, which is actually why my Maverick is no longer on my main board. Price-wise, too, they're not very expensive. They're like low, low-ish, 120, 130-ish. About 170. Yeah, is that what they are? Yeah. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. But yeah, I mean they're they're really good stuff. They're you can get years and years out of them. Obviously, my friend Dave has got a rolling on what like twenty five years on that old Chrome one. Yeah. Even on my main board now, because I've got the the Leadwa, and I've been kind of using that on and off. I, I settled on it staying when we went back to shows after the Cove. But before I was kind of going back and forth between that and the the Maverick, and the tones are comparable. I'd say pretty pretty close, but there's a, something about the lead wah. I, the, I like it just just a little bit better, which I never thought I'd say because I was pretty sold on the Maverick being my best uh, the best wah for me for my ear. And again, all this is you know apples and oranges. You know, I mean, if, if it's you know, well, yeah, like we said, this is what's held up to us. Yeah, personally, I just like the fact that when I'm going to step on a wah or a volume, or well, mostly the wah because I don't really do the volume a whole lot, but that I know I just step on and step off and I can just, it allows me to focus more on the playing aspect than the, the tap dancing aspect yeah, of it's, like, it's frustrating because anything that, that, that takes me out of the moment and what I'm doing
just kind of it's just distracting and I can't really you know properly engage if you will yeah these are definitely the kind of pedals that you would not feel bad about spending money on because you're gonna get your money's worth out of years definitely. of of it holding up uh, in a live situation and just the fact that it's gonna always sound good and it's durable unlike a lot of comparable pedals there's nothing to wear out because it has the switchless uh, relay and there's no moving parts to really you know like on the the crybabies or similar units where you have that switch that wears out over time it's just uh, for me I at this point wouldn't use any other wah pedal. I just can't even like that's. No, I'm, I'm I've sold on them. So yeah, once I started using these, because like, there's sometimes you get a piece of gear, and it's cool, but you'd still you know try other stuff. Like once I kind of got in with the, the the switchless wah stuff, I'm like I don't even want to try another wah. Like I'm I'm like I'm done. It's like it's like when you when you find the the perfect car or the perfect uh, uh, Russian mail order bride. <laughs> Don't you watch 90 Day Fiance? Oh man. There's no pleasing cue. It's better than watching Surviving R. Kelly. Because you can learn stuff from that, but not the kind of stuff you want to do in public. Yeah. Or in private. What was I talking about again? <laughs> All right. So we'll uh, put the links to the Morley stuff down below so you can check out their full line of wah awesomeness. And my personal pick of the new stuff, I really like the the 2020 Lidwa. I'm guessing Mark is well. You got the the I, bad bad horsey coming. I, the bad horsey's my thing, and I'm I'm really waiting to get the new 2020 with bad horsey. So and I've heard nothing but good things about it. They've so. got lots of new good stuff I, too. I love this one. So yeah, and 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 the nice thing about the Morley line too is they kind of have a flavor for everybody. There's you know. The, I've had the Tremonti one, and that's a really aggressive wah with a boost. I've tried the, the DJ Ashba one. That's another good wah that kind of feels a bit more traditional. Um, the wah lock, which has got the three different modes on it, which is a lot more bang for your buck. What else am I missing here in the new line? There's the power wah, there's a distortion wah, there's the fuzz wah. I mean, so depending on what you're really into, there's no way you're not going to find something that you like kind of within your price range. So. so if you enjoy this kind of content and would like to see more or you just like to punish yourself, be sure to like and subscribe and click the cute little bell icon so you're notified every time we post any of these kind of shenanigans. You got anything you want to add? Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.